SDS at Ron Cone E Day Ana Compares dot com Ultra Video Potter T Boy There's a product recall today. This comes from the United States Computer Product Safety Commission and the Fitbit Ionic Smartwatch has a major problem. One problem is that it can overheat and even perform a burn hazard. Now, one million were sold in the United States, and then around what 600,000 were sold internationally. This deals with the Ionic Fitbit smartwatch. It has a lithium-ion battery. It can overheat. It can burn you. It can pose a burn hazard. They recommend a refund. This is a voluntary refund. This was released today. Again, one million in the United States, and around what 693,000 were sold internationally. I think even international customers can request a refund. In a few minutes, I'm going to give you exact instructions on how to receive a refund and potentially, I think, 40% discount off of previous purchases. This is the actual Fit by Iconic that is susceptible to overheating and can start on fire. Okay, now there's a toll-free telephone number, but there's other international numbers, and I'll show you where you can find those. 888-925-1764, but this is, you know, toll-free for, I would say, most United States customers. Anything further? No, I thought this was very ironic. These are the model numbers. They're very important, but look at the colors. Burnt orange and charcoal smoke gray can't make this fucking shit up. Those were the colors of the Fitbits Ionic that get it. Some of them overheated because of the battery and burn people. Now here's the model numbers. FB5003CPBU. FB503GYBK. FB503WTGY. FB503WTMB. They are all Ionic models. Just the Ionic. None of the other ones. I think even Fitbit recommends that you stop using them. Now you will receive a prepaid packaging with shipping label. What else? Up to a $299 refund, a discount code for 40% off select Fitbit devices, future orders. Now supposedly there were 115 reports in the United States, 59 reports internationally of the battery overheating, 78 reports burn injuries in the United States. Two of them were third degree burns, four were second degree burns. There were 40 reports of burn injuries internationally. I'm not sure if they were first degree, second degree, third degree, 100th degree, I do not know. Now these Fitbit Ionics were sold at Best Buy, Kohl's, Target, and other retailers. Some of them were sold on Amazon.com and Fitbit.com between September of 2017 December of 2021. All right, and anything for oh, the recall number is 22089. 22089. Now let's get to the Fitbit website, and I will show you what you need to do to receive a refund and what 40% possible discount. Now this is, was a voluntary recall. That what that means is that this bureaucracy which is kind of ironic. You know, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, since when have governments ever cared about safety of people? And since when have governments protected people? Anyways, I don't want to digress, but oh, that's right, I'll get censored off of YouTube. I may get this video removed. It's a voluntary. What that means is that this corporation, Fitbit, was not forced to accept the refund or a rebate or anything. Okay, now this comes from Fitbit.com. Voluntary safety recall of their Ionic smartwatch. Only their Ionic. If you do not own an Ionic, you do not need to worry. Not yet. I do not know about the, the, those batteries either, but I'm just saying. It's only specific to Fitbit Ionic devices. 
Now, what you'll want to do is you'll want to visit the refund center, and I will show you that as a separate uniform resource locator. Fitbitionic.com. Well, Fitbitionic.expertinquiry.com. But before that, I want to show you the telephone numbers because they have multiple telephone numbers for international. So the top one is the United States. I think I already read over that one. Australia, Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Hong Kong, Italy, Japan, Korea, North, Netherlands, New Zealand, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Taiwan, United Kingdom, and international toll charges may apply. No, no, no. no you're not going to blame me. Nope. I am not responsible for any long distance charges. That's all up to you. That you need to verify and you know what I'm saying? But these are local to possible, possibly local telephone numbers if you reside in these other abstract nation states. Now, if you're not in any of these abstract nation states, then you can contact Fitbit via chat, telephone, well, yeah, via chat. Unless you're able to call that 800 number and not get charged. Okay, now what I want to do is show you the actual form that you're supposed to fill out. It's in the refund center, which, which is right here. This is a separate uniform resource locator on screen at the top. Easy to just type in to your web browser. No excuses anymore. Fitbit Ionic Recall. Please complete the form below begin your registration process. However, I tried this in Brave web browser and I don't think it functions properly. What you'll do is you're going to select your country that you reside in or the country that you order the Fitbit. Probably, most likely, what you'll want to do. But, you know what I'm saying. So just choose any country. And then what you'll do is click on register. But, you know, it's how the register doesn't show up. And I'm using, oh, there it is. You know what? It finally worked. Earlier, it didn't work. I'm using Brave Web Browser. I don't want to go into all the details, but there's an option that will block certain aspects of a website, and I disabled that, and it still wouldn't show up. Now it seems to work. Okay, now you're going to click on register. Now, again, if your abstract nation state is not listed in this drop down, or you cannot find a telephone number for your abstract nation state, click on the contact us help.fitbit.com slash ionic and there are multiple ways to contact them I think even Twitter you can send a message on their Twitter which I don't I don't use Twitter because they censor oh 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 that's right you YouTube should be known as we censor you too okay so click on register and I have not tried this because earlier it did not work so it's going to take you to another website, intake.sedgewick.com, and we'll find out. Okay, you're going to have to, everything with a star is required. Your first name, last name, your address, including state or province, city, postal code, country is required. And then your name, nation, state, and then, uh, I guess if you, maybe if you have a apartment or Number, you might want to add that in the address line one. And then anything else that is mandatory. Oh, Fitbit account email address. Now you want to make sure the address is correct. It will be used to contact you regarding your recall. Please ensure that the address is complete and correct before proceeding. And then you'll want to enter in your email address associated with your Fitbit account. I, my logic tells me that if you still have a Fitbit and a Fitbit account, the email address that you have access, I would use that email address. You know what I'm saying? That, that is also connected to your Fitbit. I'm not going to fill this out because I actually don't have a Fitbit. I don't, I do not need to use some electronic device to stay fit and healthy. Then once you're done, you would click on next. But it's going to error out. It's going to warn me. Okay, please resolve the issues below. All right, so that's pretty self-explanatory. And I think what you'll end up doing is they'll send you a postage paid label and also 
packages so that you can return your Fitbit watch to them because uh, they're dangerous. Well, duh, I already went over that. And then once they receive it and process it, they'll receive the, what, up to $299 and then I think 40% discount off of a previous purchase on Select. And I don't know, I do not know which ones that you would get 40% off. So these are the instructions to properly submit your Fitbit Ionic product recall. Adios.